Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to this week's video. This week, I am going to be looking at my friend's Olympus XA point and shoot camera that has the attached external flash here. And I actually borrowed this camera from him about a year ago to take on a trip to Mexico. And I really enjoyed it, but it ended up having some light leaks on it. And I thought, you know what? I know how to fix those. I'm going to borrow the camera again from him and just take a bit of time to show you guys how to fix and replace the light seals on the Olympus XA1. So this is actually my second video that I've done on how to replace light seals on a camera. My first one, I'll have it linked up above, was for my Canon AE-1. And surprisingly, the process is very similar. And I actually was able to use the same foam from my AE-1, the leftover stuff, to fix this one. So the first steps are going to be clearing off all of the old seals and adhesive and i'm doing that with some isopropyl alcohol some cotton swabs a uh, just a wooden dowel and um, a screwdriver occasionally it is super important to clean every nook and cranny just so that it looks good but also just to get all of those old light seals off so that the new ones can stick even more effectively now i didn't do this it very scientifically, I just cut the pieces to size and then dipped my fingers in water and ran them across the adhesive on the foam so that it was not as sticky and I could move it into place. And then as it dries, the adhesive begins to stick more and it ends up acting like it was never wet in the first place. So that's just a little trick that I would suggest you do measure all of these to size, get them a little bit wet so that they don't completely stick and you can maneuver them into place and then just go ahead and let it dry before you use it. Now, luckily for me, all I had to do was replace the seals here on the door and then put it back together and it ended up working fine. There are some additional seals at the top and bottom where you load the film. Uh, just take a look at those and see if those need replacing on yours. And if they do, follow those same steps to get that done. So as I'm wrapping up this video and showing you how everything turned out, I do want to mention that you can find some step-by-step -step instructions as well as a specific kit that uh, comes with seals cut specifically to size for this camera and for most cameras over at the USA Camera website, which I will link down below in the description. If you ever have that need, please check them out. It's a great resource. I am just showing you in this video what I did. Um, please don't do this unless you feel comfortable doing it to your camera. Um, you can always mess things up, so proceed with caution if you are going to do this. So that'll do it for this video. I'm going to load up this roll of T-Max 100 and go give it a shot. Let me know if you'd be interested in any more videos regarding the Olympus XA. I'm going to be taking it on another trip coming up here soon. So thank you so much for watching. We'll see you around next time. <laughs>